Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So today we are going to do a simple and straightforward comparison test of the Black Shark Magnetic Cooler, which I unboxed in my previous video. You can check it out on the top left corner. And uh, we'll be using the iPhone 12 Pro Max and Genshin Impact game at high settings to test out the performance of this cooler. So I'll play the game for about 10 minutes, uh, during which time I will record and show you the real-time FPS and the power consumption. Okay, so just as usual, if you are interested in the gameplay, just watch it. Otherwise, fast forward to the end of the video. I'll show you the full results and give you my analysis. Alright, so let's go.
我听到。此乃天道。Okay, guys, so testing has finished, and let's check out the results. 
Here we can see that the average FPS with, with the cooler is at 55, while if you are not using the cooler, it's only 47. Okay, so there is some apparent improvement here if you are using the cooler. And uh, you can also see from the FPS graph that there is just uh, much less frame drops and also the average frame rate towards the end of the 10 minutes gameplay is also much more consistent and much higher than uh, if you are not using a cooler. And just talking about my own experience, I have to say that with a cooler, there are some frame drops, but overall the gameplay is still quite enjoyable. But if you are not using a cooler, uh, after about 4-5 or five minutes of playing, the game will become very laggy and uh, you can't really enjoy the game anymore. So I think the cooler is doing its job pretty well. And as for battery temperature, it's a more direct view of how well the cooler works. So after about 8-9 uh, minutes of gameplay, we can see that if we are using the cooler, the battery temperature is actually 5 to 6 degrees uh, lower than that without the cooler. So I think this is also uh, a bit more healthier for your battery as well. And lastly, for power consumption, to my surprise, uh, if we are using the cooler, the power consumption isn't uh, that much higher, right? It's only at 5 watts on average. Uh, well, if you are not using a cooler, then it's 4.5 watts. So there is only about 10% increase, which is, I think is negligible. I don't know, maybe if you are keeping the electronics cooler, they will be more power efficient. So yeah, overall, I think this cooler um, is worth buying. I don't expect too much from it, don't expect a constant 60 FPS, don't expect like a freezer kind of performance, but there is uh, some solid improvement. And I think if you just lower the graphic settings a little bit, you definitely get a close to solid 60 FPS with a cooler. And so I think it's a pretty reasonable investment if you are into heavy gaming like uh, Genshin Impact. Okay guys, so that's all for today's comparison test. I hope the video helped you. So please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, thank you guys. See you next time.